My previous video was about the if function. I cited one example each for the if function with one condition, two conditions, and multiple conditions. The if formula with one and two conditions are easy to do, but the if function with multiple conditions, which uses the nested if statement, is quite a long process that causes confusion to many. The good thing is that Excel has a way to make this easier for us. This video introduces a simpler way to do the if function with multiple conditions. It's through the ifs function available in Excel 2019 and 365. The ifs Excel function. This is designed to do the if function with multiple conditions. Similar to the nested if statement, the first step to do the ifs function is to define our goal for the given data. For example, we have this table showing the sales amount per sales representative, and to determine the right incentive for each of them, we need to classify the sales amounts into four categories, namely low, average, high, and outstanding. Next, let us put value to each category. For easy reference, put it in a table like this. With this table, it's clear that if the amount is less than or equal to 25,000, that should be classified as low. If it's more than 25,000 but less than or equal to 30,000, we have to classify that as average. If the amount is greater than 30,000 but less than or equal to 35,000, that should be considered as high. And any amount above 35,000, that has to be classified as outstanding. With that understanding, we are now ready to fill the ifs formula. Start with the equal sign, type ifs, then open parenthesis. Now input the first logical test, which is the amount in cell B5 is less than or equal to 25,000. Comma, and next is the value to appear if the test is true, which is low. Remember to put comma after every logical test and value. Then input the second logical test, which is B5 is less than or equal to 30,000, followed by the second classification, which is average. And now input the third logical test, which is B5 is less than or equal to 35,000. Then the third category, which is high. Then input the last logical test, which is B5 is greater than 35,000 to cover any amount in excess of 35,000, followed by its corresponding value or category, which is outstanding. As usual, don't forget to put quotation marks before and after every value. Enter and copy the formula down, and all are labeled with their respective categories. By the way, instead of typing the value to appear if the test is true, you can have a table here and when you fill out the formula, you can just refer to these respective cells or click them. Let's try this method with the first formula. Replace the first value low with this cell reference. Then average with this reference. Then instead of typing high, just click this and remove outstanding, then click this instead and enter. With this method, we don't have to put quotation marks, but we need to lock the cell references to make them absolute. before we copy the formula down so that 
The references are the same even if we copy the formula to the other cells. Make the references absolute by hitting F4. Let us compare the formula of the ifs function with the nested if statement in my previous video. This is for the ifs and this is for the nested if statement. The ifs function is just simply first test, first value, second test, second value, and so on. Just like the nested if statement, we should make sure that the formula covers all potential conditions and scenarios. And you just learned how to use the ifs function. Practice if you need to in order to have a strong level of confidence around logical structuring.